Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. Today I'm back again with a new Adobe After Effects slash Adobe Premiere tutorial. Um, last year I made a video on how you could design a cool looking lower thirds template, but I didn't really tell you how you could link things between After Effects and Premiere. Of course you can import the whole project, but um, I'm pretty sure you just want to change text inside of Adobe Premiere instead of having to go back to After Effects time and time again. So in the template I made in the last tutorial, I'll make sure to link that tutorial down below, you would have a name of somebody and their function. So we have Lorem Ipsum who is a graphic designer. And this had a few compositions. We have the text composition with just the text layers. Uh, we had a photo layer which is the photo inside of the background. It's really subtle, you can't really tell, but uh, hey, whatever. And then of course you have the main composition which is the main animation and this has the text layer, the photo layer and a solid layer for the background. That's pretty much it, pretty simple. But now we're gonna create a motion graphics template out of these text layers so we can edit them in Adobe Premiere. So the first thing you want to do is open up this Essential Graphics panel. If you can't see it, go to Window and click on Essential Graphics. And then for the Master Composition, make sure to pick the main animation because that has all components. And here you can type in a name. Anything will do really. Now you want to click on this button and that's when we can start importing the, uh, the text layers. So click on it and as you can see it opens up all these, uh, these windows. Um, but we're going to look for the text source text. And you want to select that and drag it over here. And we're also going to do that for the name tag. There we go. First name, last name. And now we're already pretty much done in After Effects. All that is left to do is we need to export this template. So click on this button. Yep, save it. And now there's a few options. You can choose to whoa, save it on your hard drive, which is what I prefer because I work on a lot of different computers, so I just want to have it on a hard drive and uh, be able to travel around with it. Or you could save it. Wow, this is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, you could also save it to your cloud storage of Adobe. So it's linked to your uh, account. But um, like I said, just going to save it to a local drive right now. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, just press OK. Now we can go to Adobe Premiere and again you want to open up the Essential Graphics panel. So again go to Window Essential Graphics. As you can see I already have it open over here. And now you want to click the Browse button. So here you can see all the templates you have, whether they are from a local drive or uh, from your library. You can simply click on this icon and it says install motion graphics template. Well, that's what we want to do. So click it. We can now just look it up and import it in our project. You can go to the Essential Graphics panel again and here you can change the input for the text layers. So that's pretty cool. And you see it instantly changes the uh, text layers. You don't even need After Effects for this and this saves up a lot of time. So that's pretty much it. I hope this information was useful. If so, please hit that like button, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.